Good day everyone! Welcome to another episode of Marlena's Kitchenette. Another day, another recipe to make. So stay tuned mga kakusina! Let's start cooking! So mga kakusina, ang recipe natin for today is we're going to make a uh, taco boat. So here is our ingredients mga kakusina. Meron tayong taco kit here mga kakusina. Pero kung wala kayo niyang nabili sa grocery na yan, pwede tayong gumawa ng alternative. Okay, so ituturo ko yan sa inyo mga kakusina. So dyan lang kayo, start na tayo sa pagluluto. So if finally dice natin yung ating carrot. Ito yung mga gagamitin natin sa ating uh, mix topping. And then yung ating uh, onion and tomatoes. Tanggalin lang natin ang bahagya yung buto para mabawasan yung uh, pagka-watery ng ating tomatoes. So kung bago ka lang at napadaan sa channel ko, please don't forget to click the bell down below. So, manu-notify ka pag meron tayong mga bagong uploads. And you are watching Marlene's Kitchen. Okay, mga kakusina, i-finally chop natin yung ating lettuce, yung ating fresh lettuce. And then, uh, set it aside. At uh, lulutuin na natin yung ating uh, beef. Yung ating ground beef. Isote muna natin yung ating uh, finely diced carrots and onion. Please follow FB page Marlina's Kitchenette at yung ating simpleng lutuin sa ating kusina group. Please uh, follow nyo din mga kakusina for more fun and giveaways. Inannounce ko na kanina yung ating top 3 contributors mga kakusina. You can claim your prize 300 pesos. Congratulations! So ang ating top 3 contributors si Mamita, si Miss Frias, at si Miss Len, nice kind. Congrats! So, kapag tender na yung ating beef together with our carrots and onion, mga kakusina, dahil nakasama ito sa pakete ng ating taco kit, so yung seasoning niya is uh, on a packet. Pero kung uh, if you're going to make your own, pwede rin naman mga kakusina. Gamit tayo ng curry powder, salt and pepper, paprika, And of course, kung meron pa kayong ibang extra spices dyan, you can add it on to make your own uh, seasoning packet. What you're gonna start off with is the guacamole so that it gets um, distributed evenly because you can flatten it out yourself instead of just putting it randomly on top of other ingredients. Next, what you're going to take is the lettuce so everything else is going to be on top of it and so it doesn't go everywhere if it's on the top then you're going to put the meat oh well it's up to you you could put the tomato next but i'd rather put the meat then you're going to take the cheese and put it on top of the meat on top of the meat so that it melts nicely And then you're just going to top it off with some tomatoes as such. And you can put as much as you want, but I don't like tomato that much. So that is my completed taco boat. It's my completed taco boat. Nice and clean. Thank you. And this is a taco This is my Tagalog marathon. Ito ay lagyan niyo po yung guacamole sa baba. Pag yun yung bag guacamole? Go down. Go. Okay. Make sure of avocado yung po dito. Ito 
see. And the sauce. This is Sunny Lam's way. I don't like the guacamole because I don't like the avocado with tomato. I find avocado as a fruit and dessert. So no good for that one. And then I'm going to uh, put some lettuce. This is what I like the most. And then the, the beef, the meat. And that's it for uh, Nelam Sway because I do not eat uh, No, I don't like cheese much. And if you can see here at mine, you can see how it melted nicely into the beef. Oh no, siguro ako naman, masabi lang ayun. Okay na yung cheese na yun. Come on, let's eat. So that's all for today mga kakusina. Ang sarap kumain kapag may kasalo. So until next time mga kakusina. Our recipe for today, taco boat. Thank you for watching Marlena's Kitchenette. And please don't forget to like and share. Subscribe to Marlena's Kitchenette and please hit the bell so you won't miss a thing. See ya!